Sometimes I feel as if I am living inside a box, as if the boundaries of life have constrained me. Et toi? Quoi? Hello filmmakers, Ash here and welcome to Film It Yourself. Storyboarding is when you draw visual representations of each shot, usually in chronological order, that make up your film. These can be extremely helpful for directors to illustrate their vision on paper before shooting, as well as making sure that everyone on set is on the same page and knows exactly what the shot should look like. And you don't have to be a skilled artist to do them. You can be as detailed as you like, or as rough as you like. What's most important is that you're illustrating the gist and communicating the angle of the shot in the storyboard frame. A storyboard is made up of three parts. First is the frame that represents your final film's aspect ratio. This is where you'll draw your image that will illustrate what the camera sees in the shot. Next is the shot name and camera angle, which goes directly below your storyboard image. And finally is the note section, where you can add any notes or script references that might be helpful for that specific shot. Also, you should storyboard your shots in chronological story order to match the script. This can also help visualize how the shots will cut together and be used in an animatic to test to see if the scene is working. You can also use arrows to indicate motion for both the character, a set piece or prop, or the camera. Arrows in the corner of the frame indicate that the camera is pushing or zooming in or out. Arrows can also be placed on the left, right, top, or bottom of the frame to indicate camera dollies, pans, or tilts. And you can also use multiple frames to illustrate shots that change angles through camera movements, like this. Storyboarding can be essential when your film requires CG or special effects. In these instances, storyboarding can help you plan out these types of shots ahead of time and identify which type of effect or extra shots are needed to achieve the final shot. Like in this example that required a plate, a shot of the actor on green screen, and a clean shot of the second actor to complete the over the shoulder shot. Once you're done with your storyboard, distribute it to all of your key crew members, such as the director of photography, the assistant director, or even the makeup artist. So if anybody wants to see a storyboard or needs a copy of the script or wants to see a schedule, Rob has copies of all those if you want to see it and get like a clearer picture of what we're doing. If a crew member will benefit from having a copy, then make sure they've got one to help ensure a smooth shoot. There's no real rules on how to storyboard, so just make sure you do what makes sense to you. As long as your vision is clearly communicated, that's all that matters. And if you want to jumpstart to your storyboarding process, you can get access to all of my filmmaking templates, including a storyboard one, by supporting me on Patreon for the cost of a cup of coffee. And I mean, you know how important coffee is to a filmmaker. I just can't live without it. I really really can't live without it. I need some more. Ah, it is time for a close-up. Très bon, non?